Hi, my name is Paul Mitnia. In this video, I'll be presenting the current status of my project entry for the 2017 edition of the Digital Design Contest. The project, under the title of Augmented Windshield, hints towards a small wishing for using the automotive industry, which could augment the driver's perception of the world in front of him by displaying relevant data on the transparent LCD screen attached to the scar windscreen. The interlaced screen could allow more information to be given to the user regarding the objects in front of the car and even alarms in certain situations such as the detected risk of an accident. To capture the world in front and also the user position related to the screen, two sets of stereoscopic or 3D imaging devices are used. To materialize the concept into a hardware design that is feasible both in terms of cost effectiveness and also ease of implementation, the smart windshield screen is represented physically by means of a modified LCD screen. The mode in question consists of removing from a consumer grade PC monitor the backplate, backlight assembly, and optical filters so that only the TFT layer remains. This gives a semi transparent screen that allows the control of light pass through it, thus, the user's vision of the objects in front of him. The monitor case is used as mechanical supports and case for the other boards. The bulk of the hardware components are encased underneath metal shielding to reduce radio interference due to the internal high frequency signals. Inside the case, the main device is the Digiland Nexus Video Development Board, which was chosen due to its Silex Arctic 7 FPGA chips, high number of internal and external resources. The imaging devices consist of four MT9 D111 video capture sensor boards, two in the front and two in the back, each set allowing stereoscopic processing of visual data. The interface between the cameras and the FPGA dev board is done via a homemade FMC breakout board, given the high number of pins necessary. A 7 segment display is also implemented for easy status monitoring. Other hardware components incorporated in the design are the LCD screen driver board underneath here, power supply, and also the turbo power supply for used by the FPGA board and cameras. The software part, i.e. the data processing logic, is implemented both in hard-coded hardware description language and also by usage of the soft core. Thus, the support functionality such as camera control and frame buffering, image display and user input are all realized in HDL coding, while the image processing is done using a microblaze processing system running a bare metal application. All the four cameras used require software patch installed to work, together with the initialization of a certain number of internal registers. Once set up, the frames outputted are stored in the shared block RAM for the soft core to read from. One implemented functionality is the display of a light filter on the screen that will locally limit the light that is emitted by a source, for example a flashlight, that passes through into the eyes of the user. This could simulate the functionality that a real-life smart windshield could have in terms of protecting the vision of the driver at night from the incoming car's headlights glare. To detect said sources, the capture frames are scanned for overexposed pixels, or while certain camera registers that store exposure-relevant information are taken into consideration. For detecting the user's head location in front of a screen, the frames are searched for at least one object of a certain shape and color. The intended purpose is not to present a marketable product, but merely to materialize the concept of a device that could be imp implemented in the near future if some current limitation could be resolved. Thank you for your attention.